Alright, we're going to go further into arithmetic sequences and we're going to concentrate on finding the first term of the arithmetic sequence and its common difference. So have a look at our example on the board guys. It's 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. It's going up by 2 in each case, isn't it? So the same, the difference is all 2, therefore it is definitely an arithmetic sequence. Now, if I want to know what the first term is, just the first term in the sequence, which is just three. That's all you have to say, so that's the first term, three. And then what's the common difference? It's our difference that occurs to get the next number, isn't it? So that's the common difference, two. So if you look at another example, this one's actually going down, but same thing, you can see that we are subtracting two each time to get the next number. So in this one, the first term is simply 19, the first one in the sequence, and the common difference this time is negative. It's negative two. That's the common difference, isn't it? So if it's going down, if it's getting smaller, we have a negative common difference. And when it's getting bigger, when it's getting larger each time, the common difference will be positive. Just remember that for me. So let's now go into some questions. It's asking us to, us to find the first term and its common difference. So the first term is quite easy to identify, isn't it? Now you know that the first term is simply the first one in the sequence, which is 1.2. Now let's find the common difference. If to find the common difference, we need to know what we add to 1.2 to get every second number. Now, you can see that the second number is 2.5. The first number is 1.2. I'm just going to subtract it to see what that difference is. And we've got 1.3. And you can do it for anything. You can see that 2.5 minus 1.2 is also 1.3. 3.8 minus 2.5 is also 1.3. It's because it should be the same because it's an arithmetic sequence. So you can do whatever, but I just chose the first two. And I've got 1.3, so therefore the common difference is 1.3. As simple as that. Now, let's look at another one. This time it's actually going down. It's descending order, isn't it? So you can see that the common difference must be negative. Just keep that in mind. First of all, the first term is simple. Just the first one in the sequence, which is 23. Now, again, I want to find the common difference. I'm going to do the second number minus the first number. Make sure, guys, it's always the number next to the number prior to it. So you don't do 23 minus 19. You do 19 minus 23, or 15 minus 19, or 11 minus 15. Always the next number minus the prior number. And you can see that's negative 4. And it makes sense, isn't it? It must be negative 4 because it's going down. So we can see that the common difference is negative 4, and you can see that 23 minus 4 is 19, minus 4 is 15, that's why. So that was first term and common difference.